Welcome to a new video and this video is about the Huawei Pura X. I'm using this edition uh, of the phone for a couple of weeks already, almost a month, and what I discovered now on this one is pretty amazing. An automatization system that is built in here that I didn't expect to build in AI Life. Huawei's AI Life has an automatization tool and I want to talk a little bit about this and what you can do with it. So let's get started. So the automatization tool I'm talking about is really AI Live. So go into your Huawei apps and you find AI Live app. And here you can set up all your devices. Like if I have headphones in there, I have like a scale or something like this. Uh, or a watch, anything. But here under services or scenes, actually, you can find different automatization tools. And I have set up already two here, which are for the battery saver. So by default, when you go into your settings and you go into the battery settings, we don't have any, we have a battery saver, but we don't have any option like to turn on the battery saver when a certain percentage is, is reached of the battery, like if it's under 20%, turn on the battery saver. It is not possible here. But what you can do is under AI Life, AI Life, you have the possibility to set it up as a scene. What I have set up right now are two options. This is the first one that will get the battery saver turned off every day when the sun is rising. And the other one, you can guess it, it's turning on the battery saver every day when the sun is setting. Because at night, usually I don't use the phone so much. So preserve a little of battery by just when sun is setting, turn on the battery saver. What we can do as well here, show you how to do it, is turn on the battery saver when we reach a certain percentage of the battery. If you go on plus here, we add a condition. And in this condition, we have smart devices that we can use, like smart lights and so, such things. Uh, manual starting options there as well as specific locations. So if I reach a specific location, like for example, I am home, then I don't want to be disturbed by phone calls, go into silent mode or such thing. I could set it up like this if I want to. Also the uh, voice control commands that I can say, hey Celia, I'm home for example, or I can schedule it for a specific day. Or I have system options and those system options allow us to yeah, set up various different system options. Like when I'm connected to a specific Wi-Fi, do a specific thing, a Bluetooth, mobile network, more connections, display, or battery. And here I have the things that I can set up for battery, like start charging, end charging, fully charged, or battery level over specific limits or under specific limit. And when here I can set up, for example, I want the battery saver to be turned on when the battery is under 20%. Click on OK, click on OK, and then when the battery level is under 20%, I can add a task here. And I can set this task to be also a system task. And then I can set up battery. And then I can say battery saver here. And then battery saver turn on. I click OK. I click OK here. And then I have another option which will turn on the battery. Uh, oops, this is not the one. This one here. Which will turn on the battery saver when my battery is falling under 20%. And of course, the same way I can use or create another scene here. Uh, I can change the name of the scene, but leave it by default or the default one. Go to system, go to battery again, and go to battery level over a specific limit. Like, for example, if I'm over, I don't know, 75%, go OK, and then go to system, and then I want the battery saver to be turned off. So when I'm charging, for example, uh, turn off. So the battery saver will be turned off. Uh, and what I can do is like I can add another condition like also the battery uh, start charging and charging fully charged are also possibilities here and I say start charging for example or end charging such things so I can set it up the way I want to and this time around I create another one that will turn oops this is not the one it will turn of the battery saver when the battery is higher than 75 percent of course you have to coordinate those settings also with these settings and you can add more conditions if you want to like if you reach a specific locations and such things 
Um, very, very useful tool, very good for automatization. Scene controls are available there. Uh, app services are available as well, like control apps, phone app, for example. I could like receive a call or when I receive a call, what to do, end a call, uh, make a phone call and such things. I can also use them uh, or alarms as well. And such things are possible as well. Like I could, in theory, when I have an alarm set, use one of my smart devices like lights, lamps to also start blinking or turning on and off or radio turn on and off and such things or my television even if I have a Huawei television that I'm able to control here. And the same goes for app services and for system settings like sounds and vibrations. If I like, uh, what I really like to do for example is, I can show you another example, go to here plus, add a new one. Add a condition when I have, for example, a system and I have my sounds and vibrations here, I have do not disturb on. Uh, if I turn do not disturb on, what I can do here is when I have do not disturb on, I want my system and sound and vibrations and the sound mode to be silent. Such thing I can also set up if I want to, if it's not working for you. For example, it did not work for me initially, so I had one of those proof profiles here. After an update, now it's working. I think it was a bug. But this is a possibility that I have here. Or if I turn this, um, another thing is like, what I could do is, let's discard this theme, scene, discard. Can I discard it? Let's close it up and open it up again. <laughs> there we go. It's also a possibility to discard it. Is when I have like my battery saver turned. This one was it like sundown battery saver turn on. What I can add is not only like what to do with the battery saver, but you can also say add another task. Like when the sun is going down, I also want it to disconnect from my Wi Fi. So I have the possibility to here go into system, Wi Fi and then turn Wi-Fi off here as well. So it saves even more battery levels. So this is a possibility that I have here to set up various different scenes. And besides those scenes that I can set up manually here and all the settings that are, of some of the settings that I showed you, there's a Discover tab here as well, where yes, it is in Chinese currently because it's Huawei Pure X, but where other people have uh, some things that they created here, for example. This one here, I don't even know what it is, so let me quickly translate it and this shows you how to translate such things. So I can translate the screen here and this one is doing something with the battery, I think, from 9 to 10 a.m. Start charging from 9 to 10 p.m. every day. So this is, ah, this is interesting. So when you start charging from 9 to 10 p.m. every day, then it is putting the volume down, the smart volume down to 33% and some other things like uh, ringer volume and other volumes also down as you can see here. So this is one of those things. And there are many other ideas that people might have. And this is super, super handy. I think when uh, Huawei finally pushes this globally, this needs to be translated then some connections with the car and so on. But then it would be super, super awesome and cool to have such a thing. Um, I could even like say, I don't know if this is doing it, but change the wallpaper or such thing. Uh, when I'm reaching home, for example, I want to see the pictures of my kids and family or something. Or when I go out, I want to see the kids or family. When I'm home, I want to see another wallpaper. Such things I could set up here as well, uh, depending on uh, yeah where you are, what you do. A super handy but super powerful tool that you wouldn't expect to be in AI life, this little app here that comes pre-installed on the Huawei Pura X. That is everything for this short little video. If you have some questions regarding the scenes or stuff that I should try out for automatization on the Huawei Pura X, write it down in the comment section. Until the next time, bye.